Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June 2020 and I'm doing the spiel at the end of the video so if you at the end of the video have a look uh, or listen if you wish if you don't then uh, you have the choice so I'm making the introductions uh, shorter and welcome back to the channel if you're a cyber angel and if you're new welcome to the channel and I hope you will enjoy this reading and subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified there is uh, some new information so I would suggest have a listen at the end of the video for the news I'm using the Shadowlands um, uh, this week again I love them and you know that and these are the cards that you can win in the competition this is the Querent card that is you or the overall energy and then Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and I use the corner cards to clarify the three cards around it or a uh, vice versa then I have the Queen of the Moon Oracle card then I have a postcard from spirit and then I have the mystical shaman deck and I'll be going into those quite deeply as well the readings overall have been absolutely beautiful even if I say so myself the cards make it really awesome Pisces I think it ha took a life of its own um, okay so uh, thank you very much for your likes and shares and uh, you are um, on the same level as Sagittarius Libra so you're sharing this uh, place with Sagittarius so um, these two will go out at the same time um, thank you very much for your likes and shares if you like to be number one then keep on uh, pushing the button like the thumbs up okay we're going to start off with the first card and that's the overall energy or the querent card and you have the ace of pentacles so there will be a new beginning a new start perhaps of a job perhaps of a relationship a friendship a partnership in work or in love something that it has um, durability and will be there for a long term or a long time so you have the world in your hand okay this is what I see it could be a crystal ball perhaps you already know um, what the new beginning is going to be uh, because you've been manifesting it or visualizing it and you've been wa working towards it well now it's here you can have many choices like I said the world is your oyster you are getting an offer from the divine to start something for long term with durability perhaps you might start a relationship with a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus and on Monday you start off with the five of cups well the card basically means don't cry over spilled milk okay you can't change the future perhaps you are moping about about the past well don't be because you can't go back to the past you can only change the present and the future so take the two cups that are still standing and fill them up and multiply them on Wednesday you might really be depressed you might really be sad ah. I love this card in this deck because it's not so scary because it's the three of swords and it's the three of pins that somebody's put pins in your heart it could be that you've lost a job it could be that you've lost a loved one that could be a person um, especially now with the COVID or it could be a pet it could be something that you lost that was very dear to you like your teddy bear I still got mine even if I'm 63 but I don't use it anymore but he's still with me he's in my little cupboard okay of memories don't worry time will heal and he is I think that is absolutely awesome 
vividly depicted as he's wearing sunglasses. Take those sunglasses off, come into action and shine again. Don't hide away. Don't hi be scared to hide your sadness. Ask for help. There's plenty of people around you or institutions that could give you a helping hand even if you've lost your finances or your house. There are always people ready to help but you should not hide away your emotions. Let them out. Open up your heart. Let the sadness come out. What did I hear today? Today I heard it is quite honourable and heroic to be able to cry and show that you are upset. Show your emotion. It's quite hero heroic to show your emotions. It takes a lot of guts to show how you truly feel. But don't keep on hanging in those emotions. Like I said, you can't change the past. Pick up now. Come into action now and work through that pain then you can start living again and enjoy life for what it is we all have our ups and downs okay listen to your intuition this is a very spiritual card and you've got the high priestess you will find your balance again you've got number two you are creative enough to do that because you've got number three here. Listen to your feelings. Listen to new ideas that come up. Listen to your intuition. Sit quietly. Meditate. Contemplate. Then you might just all of a sudden get a strange thought in your head. If you have lost somebody and they've gone to the other realm, that is them giving you a message. You're not alone. I'm here. I'm, to protect. I'm here to protect you to support you wherever I can but remember I just left so I have lessons to learn and work through my emotions the high priestess has the book of wisdom she knows all the answers and all she can say here is listen to your intuition your emotions they might be heightened at the moment definitely around the change of moon as we have entered cancer it will be more of a peaceful nurturing loving and passionate time also perhaps a sexy time perhaps you might have learned from the past and um, work on yourself and make yourself beautiful and sensual again so that you'll be the beacon after you've worked through your emotions but you can you can play the cards close to your chest you can sh take those glasses off show your emotions but it's up to you how deep you want to open up but open that heart again and let joy, joy come back into your heart let Archangel Haniel and Shamuel and Raphael help you the high, high Priestess also represents the Moon, the Moon Goddess, and that's Pisces. So there might be a Pisces around you, because they are emotionally sensitive, and they could be of help. They are usually also empathic. They will understand you. So there could be a friend that is a Pisces that could help you. That's on Friday. At the weekend, you are going from 3 to 2 to 1, a new beginning. You're in balance. You're ready to take on the world again. Wow. This is a new beginning, like I said, a tangible beginning. You have all the elements, the knowledge. You've got the ways and means to make things happen but you have to come out of your shell you have to take those sunglasses off and get into action and don't make any illusions do it in the right way and don't be disillusioned because it will take hard work to get a new start up 
and running because you know that you're the one that has to come into action to make that new start happen okay Libra you might have had a quarrel with somebody as you have the clouds perhaps you've lost a friendship well usually after rain comes sunshine but if they don't want to communicate with you or talk to you and make up friends again then it is perhaps better that you let them go you don't want to be hurt all the time okay you've learned a lesson you can take that with you and change it next time do the magic walk away from other people's dramas don't get into arguments with others if they are not open to your suggestions or your point of view then let it go you have learned from the past you have the magic to get this new beginning going awesome now you do have luck though lots of luck and if they are open to discussion and talk about the quarrel or disagreement they will be here to visit you and they will return with a gift but the bouquet also means luck and it is a nine and here you've got the six you're in balance you're strong like the magician but there might be an end of a friendship but there could be also the end of a quarrel there might be a reconciliation they're coming they're bringing a gift but luck definitely okay listen to your intuition if there are red flags then be aware the red flags don't necessarily have to be negative it could also be positive but be cautious that is what your intuition is saying can you trust this friend that has quarreled with you will they disturb the new beginnings will they take away your strength again don't let anybody take away your strength you are the magician of your life you know the answers because you've lived through experiences and learned from them okay now you have the fox so be careful of sly analytical mean people like you know uh, a smooth talker be careful of uh, somebody that's slimy slithery like the snake as well that's the warning this is the red card the red flag card you're being warned so forewarned is forearmed listen your intuition will not leave you in the lurch the other side of the card of the foxes somebody is wearing a mask and might not be really true okay but somebody might be keeping an eye on you okay they want to know how perfect you can be can you work to detail can you work to deadlines so cross your T's and dot your I's and know that somebody might keep an eye on you without you knowing it and they might will might bring you into unbalance one and four is five this could be at work because it's lying close to the card of work a new job or a next level learn from the past if you if you do get a job offer then look at the small print because not all seems what it is take those glasses off or use proper glasses to see the small print on contracts that is the warning you don't want to lose a job after three weeks or three months then you're back to square one okay then the last card in the spread is three again three three double numbers this is one and one you've got three three okay so the angels are guiding you and helping you your ship is coming in that means abundance is coming towards you whether it is love or work 
okay like I said open your heart and then you will see it coming in okay you might be crossing water you might be moving home you might be going on holiday so that is also a lucky card then we have the sh uh, mystic sham uh, shaman uh, oracle card and that is number 63 again a 9 now you've got a 9 there and a 9 here something coming full circle the wind I would say go with the wind clear out the cobwebs go outside clear out the cobwebs so let's see what the author says the symbol of the wind represents the element of air thinking wisdom learning okay represents the element of air it is communication thought song and inspired ideas it also signifies change with qualities both positive and negative the wind blows from each of the four directions and there are different qualities bestowed by each south carrying a new sense of trust yes going south listening to your intuition trust yourself more helping you gently begin to discard habits and parts of you that are no longer needed west calling you to more introspection to a willingness to make final decisions to let go of attachments and egos <laughs> north moving to bring you wisdom and strength well that is what you've learned you've learned from the past east carrying clarity of vision and purpose and yes take those glasses off see where you want to go show your emotions let others know what your boundaries are and where you want to go from here which way the wind is blowing for you the message which the wind whispers or shouts is a challenge it may take courage at first to turn and face the wind but you will find exultation, exultation in moving towards it and receive its lessons yes you will like here you've learned from this is the a reading that you've learned from the past and you are being warned to heed the the teachings or the lessons that you've had in the past with this card you don't want to lose out again okay this is the only card with so much um, explanation so the invitation to this card the wind w uh, or the task when the wind the spirit of the wind comes calling it's time to change perhaps you need to change your mind about something perhaps an old way of doing things has become automatic and now that you've gained greater clarity you can make a new choice and choices regardless of what the change is you can expect to be understood and to have clear communication with others at this time ideas are solid and the shift that is being called for is in the highest good of all yes people don't want you to be sad they only want the good for you so take off those glasses and see the beauty that is around you and the choices that you have okay you've got the postcard of a uh, spirit live your dreams in very small print live your dreams dearest you isn't it amazing how things seem to come round again 
full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned. You wonder how a dream could die, only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. Your thought is it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. There you go. He is looking towards the past. And it's coming full circle. Things do come full circle. We want you to trust that in, in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called into two directions and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle. That's what I just said. And now you can see that everything changes. And the changes are made anew and is given new hope. It will give you new hope, that's for sure. Loving you always. And then we have the last card, and that is Sovereignty. Ooh, you might be real. Okay. You know, you have the right to decide what you want to do with your life. Okay. Sovereignty means that you are the king or queen, the ruler of your own life. And learn to say no. Take the world in your hand, you've got more choices than one, like I said. This is number 41, so again a 5, so you've got 14, this is a 5, this is a 5, so if you do see 555, five, five, then you have an angel number, or just 55. Five. The Queen of the Moon, she's the Queen of the Moon. Sovereignty, you have sovereignty over your own life. Act with grace and confidence. You have the ability to unite desperate people and views should you choose to do so. The buck stops with you. You are powerful. Act like it. So in other words, you you rule your own life. If you want to bring people back together again, because this could be you with another person or somebody else, you have learned from the past what is good and what is not good, then you can be the mediator or the arbitrator. You can make people come back. But you're the one that's in the power. So if you decide not to help, then they most probably won't come back. Okay? So take action. Be the magician. But be careful. There are red flags, okay? Listen to your intuition. Usually I say to people, walk away from other people's drama. Don't get caught up. Because the fifth wheel on the wagon is no good. Or a third person um, in a triangle is no good either. If you can help and if you can stay, um, how do you say it, outside their emotions, then fine. Do it. You can help people. But if you can't help the people because you've been there yourself and you've lost a marriage or a relationship and you, you're emotionally involved, don't do it. Then you can't make the right 
clear uh, conclusion not judgment stay away from judgment okay oh you've got a heavy ta task for you Libra if it isn't yourself but take off those glasses and see things clearly but don't judge and it you will be a lovely person if you do help others because you'll get it back threefold okay but you can't help anybody else if you don't help yourself so don't be frightened to show your emotions and ask for help you hold the power for that new beginning okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading and like I said um, I'll give you the spiel at the end well the spiel is thank you very much for coming back my cyber angels and welcome to the new viewers please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I answer uh, giveaway free cards and I answer questions that are supported by a donation super chat or a super sticker if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then look below this video in the description box there are all the information and if you would like to know what kind of readings are on offer then go to the website and you can do that either by the information below the video or click on that white dot in the right hand corner up in the right hand corner with the eye that will take you to the website and there you can also find the video on uh, the competition and what the competition is all about and I hope to see you all in the life all the evenings or just one evening anytime is fine I would love to get to know you if you're new and I love to see my cyber angels back as you are very dear to me take care god bless and stay safe and enjoy your week bye bye